Hi guys, uh, this is HC605MA and uh, we'll be uh, looking at new AB412 collective lever today. Uh, I will tell you about uh, its quite interesting functions. Uh, so, at first uh, let's start this Huey. Uh, Note that uh, I have my uh, throttle on idle, cut off. I look closely uh, on my hand and <laughs> to the DCS window. So I can move it uh, forward past idle cut off from the cut off position uh, with the collective. And uh, then uh, I have uh, this little mark here. Uh, it's uh, the developer version, so it's just drawn with a pencil for now. So uh, if you uh, another mark uh, is there uh, on the throttle frame. If you put them together, this is a minimal axis value. Uh, everything that is below it. And it's still a bit of uh, axis left here. It drives the collective in idle stop mode. So uh, if you press the idle stop button, uh, and then move the collective, it moves uh, this full extent and cuts the throttle. Uh, from this position you can uh, turn throttle again to reach the idle stop position. Note that uh, it won't go beyond idle stop position unless uh, you press this button here and then you can close the throttle and cut it off. So uh, let's start the engine and uh, look how it works. Uh, this is the uh, 412 uh, head, so uh, we have our starter here. Uh, so the engine is now started and we can slowly increase throttle. So uh, it's an almost accurate startup uh, procedure for uh, the engine of the Huey, uh, which you can perform with uh, this collective uh, with the head installed. The only uh, but is uh, that in the real Huey uh, you would want to position your uh, throttle just. Uh, just below the idle cutoff position uh, on the degree side, uh, very close to it, because uh, this thing here uh, it uh, 
turns on a solenoid uh, valve uh, and if during uh, startup uh, there will be an insufficient voltage to uh, turn it on uh, you will have a hot start and destroy your engine so uh, that's why uh, well technically uh, this startup procedure uh, is also right but uh, it's better to perform it with uh, ground power on uh, external power on uh, for uh, most realistic you know uh, way to start it up to do it so uh, this is probably the most interesting uh, part uh, I don't know of any other uh, connector for joystick that uh, can do it uh, as of now sorry if I'm wrong uh, so uh, what is left is uh, to look uh, at the various switch modes uh, let's turn the Huey off well I'm not uh, following checklist here because it's just uh, you know the showcase for uh, the lever and nothing more so uh, forget me uh, forgive me for this uh, so I am uh, turning my uh, lever to the uh, idle cutoff position so you can see uh, it won't go any further on the screen uh, well uh, there's still a bit of the axis is left uh, physically so it will move uh, only when I will press the uh, idle stop button then I can turn it to its full extent and uh, cut the throttle so uh, let's look at uh, the other switches and uh, I have turned the engine off so uh, we can uh, see the collective uh, better in this position so uh, these switches are all uh, three way switches but uh, this is done you know in a uh, real uh, 412 uh, there are two way and three way switches but uh, for simulators you may want to install uh, three way switches all around some with uh, some of them uh, will be spring loaded uh, which uh, you know self center when uh, you release them and some of them will be uh, fixed position ones like this one you can toggle them and they will live uh, in this position so uh, for uh, simulators you will need uh, both types so uh, you actually need uh, three types uh, so this is uh, has uh, some interesting uh, button assignments uh, that uh, will use all these uh, switches let's uh, look at it so this is the uh, searchlight switch you can see uh, it here on the collective you can see it's a free positional uh, switch freeway switch and uh, the interesting thing is that uh, middle button uh, is middle position is also uh, a button so you can see that uh, it's been pressed when the uh, switch is set to middle position let's look uh, how it uh, let's see how it looks here in joy.cpl uh, window when you press uh, the switch it presses the button for a short time and then releases it and it does uh, it presses another button uh, in middle position and the third button uh, uh, in lower position uh, this is 
uh, one of four switch types, uh, switch mode. Uh, you can configure uh, switch modes here. So, uh, uh, this one is called uh, switch mode selector switch. Here it is. Another one uh, is the toggle switch. Another type is uh, toggle switch type. Toggle switch type uh, is needed when you want uh, to use uh, to turn your uh, free positional uh, switch to two positional. So what it does, uh, it's uh, if you're interested, it's this switch landing light on off. It's a two-way switch. So you can see how it works. Now, uh, what it does is it presses the button uh, when it goes up, and presses the same button when it goes uh, down to the middle position. And if you want, you can still uh, use the uh, lower position of the switch, uh, as it's a three-way switch physically. So uh, you can. For example, uh, assign it to the uh, button switch mode, which is the third switch mode we will talk about now. Uh, basically, it's the regular, uh, most common button mode. Uh, basically, uh, the button is active while pressed, uh, so it's useful for uh, spring-loaded switches or buttons. So, uh, pretty much, uh, pretty common mode. And th the last one, uh, the last switch mode, is uh, the one, it's just like a button uh, mode. Uh, the only difference is uh, it is uh, meant to uh, work for freeway switches. So, basically what it does, it uh, presses three different buttons on uh, three different positions of the switch and holds it uh, so uh, so basically when you press switch up it holds one button then you press uh, down uh, put it to middle position uh, it holds another button so one of the button will be uh, always pressed and the uh, lower position will hold the third button uh, from unlimited time so uh, I'm not sure if this particular mode is, if is needed or not, uh, I uh, haven't assigned anything uh, to it yet. So, uh, this switch here uh, is set uh, as a mode selector switch. Uh, if you want, for example, you know, you don't need the uh, idle uh, cutoff switch in flight, you don't need the uh, starter switch in flight, but you may use it uh, for something, uh, you know, uh, from something for like one of radio switches or something you want from other panels, you know, lights or something, anything. Uh, so you can uh, use this switch. Uh, you can put it either uh, up or down to uh, make these switches uh, uh, but by these switches I mean uh, the switches in uh, switch mode button switches array uh, here they are so uh, all uh, buttons and uh, spring loaded switches that are here uh, will be uh, will press different buttons in uh, free modes uh, which you select by pressing this switch so uh, basically for example in the zero position it's uh, mode zero uh, this button thumbstick button will pr be pressing uh, button one then uh, in this position it will be pressing button 33 and in this position it will be pressing button 
uh, I guess 65 or something so uh, idle uh, cutoff button only works uh, I mean this uh, fancy uh, behavior of uh, the throttle it only works in uh, the uh, middle uh, in the middle zero position of the mode switch of the mode selector so uh, the thing also has two head switches uh, they can be set up uh, as either uh, four way or uh, eight way so uh, they are bound to different joysticks uh, because of uh, you know Windows limitations for the sake of compatibility is everything. So uh, we have uh, this one here as a four-way, and this one here as an eight-way switch. Uh, so basically, uh, that's all. Uh, these uh, two holes are here because you know it's an um, early development print uh, and you know uh, there should be uh, two spring loaded switches uh, like this one just small so uh, I will finish uh, the collective uh, later uh, but it's uh, very close to release so uh, I can show you uh, the most valuable functions of it already then uh, the one thing uh, I forgot I forgot to tell you about is uh, the rotary potentiometer uh, which is uh, placed uh, in this place on the right side of the collective uh, probably there will be another one on this side as well uh, obviously there is no such switch in a real 412 but you know uh, it can be useful and also you can just drill this thing and put uh, an additional switch there it's not a problem I believe so uh, if you uh, if you ever need uh, you know an additional access for something uh, it will be there uh, well uh, that's it uh, thanks for oh, uh, one more thing uh, about uh, new tangier uh, you can see that uh, the collective holds in place uh, and it is uh, barely holds uh, because uh, I have set up these uh, uh, parts here uh, in a way uh, I have barely tightened them uh, so they uh, hold the lever very lightly so uh, basically it feels just like the uh, simple collective it's very very uh, lightweight and uh, yet it holds uh, in this place uh, where you leave it uh, well enough so it's uh, really comfortable to fly with this lever unlike the uh, previous twin throttle version which uh, was a bit too heavy uh, in my opinion so here's the fix uh, next uh, one will be the uh, twin throttle version for this head and then I will make the uh, head for the Huey because uh well i like you <laughs> so uh thanks for watching guys uh hope you like it and uh if you have any questions and uh, suggestions uh then please uh, ask in comments and uh visit my site uh, hc625ma.org uh, for uh, more information uh, on everything uh and stay tuned Bye.